That's going to take some doing. At least it... At least it doesn't... Like, the one thing I like about this game is... Uh, no, it does waste your time. But I was going to say, it only wastes your time in very select ways. Rarely will a puzzle, like, screw you over. There we go. Most of the time when a puzzle screws you over, like, it's maybe five seconds to get back up there. Coin magnet! Yes! Except for steady spinning coins, which are not affected. Well, that's still really nice. Let's see, what system am I going to be using? It's actually going to be Pathfinder. Second edition. We went out to buy the uh, the core rulebook, or the, the playtest rulebook yesterday. And we'll be... Cripes, that's a lot of dudes. Uh, we will be doing uh, Pathfinder 2nd Edition, because I prefer Pathfinder to 5th Edition, if only because Pathfinder 5th Edition is... Um, or, no, 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 Dungeons & Dragons 5th Edition is just a little bit... I'm not going to say it's inflexible, but... Like... I like crazy, you know, multi-class build nonsense. And I can't do that that well. Uh, yeah, we're going back to fantasy. I'll do a sci-fi campaign at some point, but I don't know. There's a building on the other side of the ravine with a good upgrade. You're right, that I haven't gotten yet. Because I needed the stomp to get in there. Uh, let's see. But, uh, yeah, we'll do sci-fi again at some point. But I think I think I need a better idea. I'm I'm never going to do the uh, transition from fantasy to sci-fi again. That was a fun idea, but I think in general that's the sort of thing that I'm gonna... I'm gonna plan the campaign start to finish sci-fi. I can just stop those guys in their tracks. That's awesome. Alright, well, I'm a bit of a powerhouse of a sort. Ish. Yeah, fifth edition is watered down. Sort of. It's one of those where it's like, I don't begrudge it for what it is. 3.5 was bloated. Almost to the point of being unplayable at times. Um. But like... Let's see. Remember, I actually went up this direction, maybe? No, I didn't. I don't remember how I got up to the top of this, but I have been up there. Oh, well, this is easier. But so, uh, hearing that Pathfinder was going to get a uh, a second edition was actually really exciting for me. And yeah, they've already got the playtest, so might as well just do that. What the... Uh, is this doable? Pathfinder 1E is even better, since it's everything I liked about 3.5 without the things I don't. I thought you got the ability for this here, but you can't. Yeah, you don't have all the skills or tools. Okay. I was really confused. I was like, I'm pretty sure I'm not capable of doing that one. Well, we'll come back. At least I got the door open, so it's easier. Um, but yeah, so, I liked 5th edition, it pared it down and it made it a lot more beginner-friendly. Because previously, Pathfinder was very much like... Very much, well, not Pathfinder, Dungeons and Dragons, it got too big. It worked great, but, um... Oh, the ability you need for this is... In the, uh, building where you got the tether beam. Okay, well, let's go spend my money first, and then I'll come back. How did I do it? I want to say there was, like, a jumper. Oh, no, 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 we just go across this way. That'll that'll work. Um, But yeah, so 3.5 had too many books, too many rule sets. Things started to get a little bit funky, and it wasn't... I'm not going to say it wasn't good, but, like, if you were a new player and you wanted to get into Dungeons & Dragons, it very much was going to be, like... A bit of an upward slog to catch up with anybody that had been playing 
a considerable amount of it. Dang it, did I screw up? I screwed up. Okay, well, I didn't screw up too much, but still. Uh, let's see. Because yeah, I was thinking I could, like, jump down or... I don't know. I guess jump over. But so, 5th edition pairs it down and really, like, boil D&D 3rd edition into something very playable for everybody. But for me, who is used to the, like, sheer amount of stuff that you could do... It was a little disappointing. And so, like, Pathfinder... Showed, well, I guess 4th edition was super disappointing for separate things entirely. Okay, go to Bluesville at this point. Yeah, I think we're pretty much there. I don't think there's a whole lot. We're going to go back to the town. First, the red town. And we don't talk about 4th edition. 4th edition was such a beautiful system if you wanted to have a video game. Like a Dungeons & Dragons video game. I think 4th edition would have been perfect. But it was not great for regular gameplay. It, it could have worked, but they went too much video game and not enough, um... How would I describe it? Oh. Oh. Okay. I'm still curious about that, how to activate it, but we'll leave that for later. But, like... If they, if Dungeons and Dragons had wanted to make like a Divinity Original Sin, that would have actually worked amazingly well. But they didn't. Okay. So we have one golden barrel left. Oh, we can get into this house at the very least. Oh, it has a pickaxe in it. Extra stomp damage. Anything else in here? I don't think so, just this one rooftop. Where's the last golden barrel then? Because I think I've got... Oh, I, I know where something is. We've also got some flies here. So I'll work on that in a bit. But yeah, I can do some stuff in here. If I'm not mistaken. Just gonna look around for a bit. Doesn't look like there's anything in there. Aha! What is that? Sword critical chance. 5%. Cool. Oh! I know where we are. That's cool. I saw this earlier, but I didn't know how to get to it. Okay, well, whatever that is, that is not something I'm able to get to. I think I could have gotten to this originally, now that I'm thinking about it. Well, that was just money. I'm not convinced there's anything else here. Hey, thank you, Levmel, for the thousand bits and Verily Sins for the 45. Thank you both so much. Ooh. Oh, wait, no, I had to do that to turn off the, the fire. Okay. I'm just going to go through this. I don't remember what was over here. Prepare your eyes for blind. Uh, let's see. Well, not much of a secret, but it was something I missed, so let's go back. I don't think there's any anything else, but yes, thank you guys. Hope you are enjoying aimless secreting. I'd say it's aimless wandering, but I actually know where I'm going. It's just the secrets that are all over the place. Okay. Well, one way or another... Oh, do I have a purple crystal at all nearby? Because I can paint crystals... Per... 
You know, I bet I can actually paint a crystal white if I tried. Or not white, purple if I tried. Okay. Yep. Okay. So that gets us a purple crystal. Are there any big vegetables around here? Because I don't know of... Oh. oh. These are cacti over here. Well, what's up with this guy? Green leaves and water in this juicer. Oh. Should have been reading that a long time ago. Okay, so this is nothing. They won't eat that. Okay, maybe it's something out in the main main zone then. Anything around here looks super edible. I mean, it's nice to know that I can more or less get back. What even exploded on me? Oh, these guys. Well, that worked out. I don't see any, like, giant fruits or vegetables. Maybe it's closer to blue... T oh, turn around? Carrot there. Oh, you're right. They blend with the environment a little bit. Still not the last barrel. The ult takes our damage plus three. Okay, so we can blast him, in him into oblivion. I should probably bust up some of these graves. <laughs> he was just stuck in the ground. Okay. Yeah, if we bust up some of these graves, these guys will stop coming back, which will kind of be nice. Remember if there's anything down there. Okay, well. Oh, last barrel can't be gotten until after the final boss. Used to be obtainable just before the final boss. Recent patch changed it. Huh. Fair enough. Bugs me a little bit, if only because completionism ho, but alright. Okay, so where was... Okay, I know I know where Sp Spenge Mam is. Uh, Sp Spenge Mam... Man. Not Spenge Mam. Okay, next up, Wet, wet Sponge. That is some wet sponge. I wonder how many of these, like, little pseudo side quests I haven't done in this game. Uh, done yet. Oh. Green drank. Mmm, tasty swamp juice. Yum, yum. Ten elf. Yeah. Let's see, you get the blue roof in town. Yup. Catalabra. Blue Trader! Okay. Do not know if I'm missing anything else around here. And that's okay. Whee! Oh, wow! That is a... That is an immediate stop. Well, I like this explosive gun upgrade. Because as it currently stands... Nothing can stand against me. It's it's very aggressive. I'm just gonna wreck these so we don't have Gooners showing up left and right. Let's see, did I get this stuff behind the paint tube? Yep. I'm pretty sure.
I don't think I've gotten the strength block or the pickaxe block, though. Balls. Oh, wow. You really have to get that one on the nose, too. Probably better from this direction, though. Okay. There we go. Well, I'm going to have an insane amount of coins to work with. There we go. Got it. Stomp radius. 50 centimeters. It works, but I'm going to be honest. It still seems like it's best for me to just shoot things at high speeds. Okay, so let's go back home. So, you can actually parkour it. I ended up getting the upgrade oh, way before the upgrade. Well, don't need to parkour it. Kind of wish that flying was just a little bit slower so I could figure it out. Okay. So, guide me to the, uh, the strength block and the pickaxe block. Because I haven't seen either of them, but I haven't been looking that hard. Hmm. Okay, so I see why we want to go back to our house. That's a... Hard one to pull off. What? Come on. Okay, pixel block near the paint tube. Strength block is really out of place. White block on the floor. You. Okay. Yeah, a lot of these are things that I've just totally forgotten about. That's a lot of fire. Uh... Well, we got that at the very least. Maybe that's something I should have been able to get a long time ago. I don't think there's anything else there. This is the Minecraft block, though. Oh. Well, that's just a shortcut. This, on the other hand, might not be. Hmm. Not the block that I was talking about, but it is something. Oh. All right. Well, it gets me up here. Gets me up to this chest at the very least. Plus, maybe a couple others that are lurking around here that I haven't spotted, but at least this one's easy. Oh, more stomp radius. Okay, anything else around here? Let's see, and that's this is the secret challenge mode area. Oh. Have I been up here though? Well, no. Okay. I'm just gonna go back. 
Hope I don't toast myself. Okay, so... Minecraft block. Oh! That one. Uh... Is there another one? Well, I'll go look for... I'll go looking for the strength block. There we go. Okay. Well, I know of a couple. There's another one at the bottom below the tube. Wow. Down here? Oh, yeah. There that are... There, there, there. Why are there so many Minecraft blocks? And why are... Most of them useless. Oh, well. Okay. So, I think we actually want to go back this way. It was kind of... circuitous, but I remember there's at least one Minecraft block back here. Hmm. Anything else over there? Not that I see. There might be, but I'm going to just ignore it for now. So this is the direction we want to go. Okay. Now, if I remember right, did this have a any blue slats on it? No? Really? Seems like a prime prime target for that sort of thing. Okay, so, it's been a while since I've been here, and I don't remember there being a whole lot that I missed. I was, I was pretty thorough about it. Couple of things, obviously. I can bust this up. And yeah, we've got a lot of the, uh, the lava guys starting to spawn. That's okay. Anything else here? Yeah. I'm just gonna bust up all the graves. Will we go over here. Bust, bust more graves. Stay dead. I said stay dead. Okay, anything else? Sort of. But yeah, there's a Minecraft block up here. If I'm not mistaken. Okay, it's around, it's up around here somewhere. Is it here? No, that was a chest. Bat. Bat. Okay, so it's not this one. So it's got to be down, down in this one. Yeah, there it is. Uh. Oh, dang it. Was that just a shortcut? That was just a shortcut. Let's see. The room with the shell required a stomp. There we go. It's like, remember, there's there's a couple of things that I did not unlock in this area. Yeah, here we go. Okay, health regeneration plus five. That's good. It's starting to get... Dang. Wait, there's purple people. Okay, so that's how we get out of here. But I care not for that. Okay, what do you have, mystery chest? You have stomp damage plus 33%. I mean, it's kind of nice. Like, I'm not gonna lie, the extra stomp damage is, like, I'm gonna say probably never gonna be that useful for me. I can't imagine that I'm going to use it that often. Unfortunately. Okay. Was there anything else I missed? 
I mean, obviously we've got Dead Indiana Jones. We did the we did the shell puzzle. And I've been in this building. Remember this place for when you get your next ability. Ah, oh, dang it. Alright, whatever. I guess let's just get out of here. And now I'm trying to remember where that weird, like, golden cheese escape route is. This might actually be where it was. Oh, pipe. Pipe? Where does this take me? Eh, close enough. Let's go back. Well, actually, it's not let's go back. Let's go forward. I think I still maintain that this game probably could have used, like, a proper map and fast travel system. And, like, I kind of get why they didn't to really make you explore and consider. But having, like, a proper map after a certain point in this game would have just been so nice. What did she say? You got all the MacGuffins. Let's get in there. Oh, right. If I just do that. Ow! No survival! No one shoots me in the butt and lives. Hmm. Why is this not working that well? Oh, that didn't work. Hi. I think this guy wanted to come with. Ow! Whoa! Do not turn your back on these guys for even a second. All right, there we go. We're home free. Hi. I've been robbed. He took my gun and some other stuff. All right. Well, bust that up. Oh, they took my cubes too. You need to find a way to get through the final gate. Who's this random schmuck? I saw him steal your stuff and then he simply disappeared right right here. How's that possible? Your mom seemed nervous. Hey, there's the answer. Not not sister. Definitely mother. There's some amount of doubt. Oh. Am I supposed to become blue? Probably not. I'm supposed to become blue. 